Hi, my name's Kathy. I've been trying to find a way of making Canvas grade quizzes on a pass, no pass basis. If you've been doing this, you'll notice that you can make um, a grading scheme for assignments that have pass, no pass, but not for quizzes. And I like to present my homework as quizzes because there's a lot of instant feedback that the students can get. So I figured out a way, it's not the best way, but I thought I'd help you uh, get closer and then maybe um, we can all collaborate and find a better system. I'm venturing to guess right now that the best way to make it work is to go outside of Canvas and then import the assignments in. But this is the way I'm doing it right now. Here's an example. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Um, this is a graded quiz. I set all my homeworks up to be worth six points. I want them to be pass, no pass, where if you get 60% of them right, you get the full six points. If you get below 60%, then you get zero points. Um, Canvas, if I assigned assign points to each particular question, um, Canvas wanted to, um, it, it wouldn't allow me to say, okay, well, this is six points total because it was trying to say, well, that one's worth one and that one's worth one. And it just wouldn't let me override the grades very easily. So this is my system. I have 10 questions um, for this quiz. And you'll see that it's starting at question two. They're all multiple choice. That way I can give feedback. Um, they're all worth zero points. So every question is worth zero points except for my first one. The reason I put it first is because it makes it easier for scoring later. The first one is worth six points. So the way I'm doing this is it's not going to be automatically graded, but it goes pretty fast because I'll just search for how many um, questions were correct, count, make sure that it's 60%. And if it is, I assign them the full six points for this question. So let me take a step back. What I've done is added this question. It's a text box. You could actually say no text. Um, so this is just there and um, nothing is graded. Students aren't turning anything in. I actually found this was helpful because my students actually sometimes will leave me a note. They'll say, hey, I really struggled with question nine. And so it's actually a nice way of touching base with them that I hadn't before because everything was all automatically scored. Uh, I provide some extensive feedback on wrong answers. And so that's what I was trying to maintain through this system. Um, so they'll leave me a note and then what they will do is go through and, and answer these. So let me show you what it looks like when I'm grading these. And I'll have to find a way to block out the, the names in a minute here. I apologize for the, the lag. And I thought it would be complicated for students to try and understand what I was doing, but see, students seem to be able to, um, to get it. They, they don't seem to have a problem with how the system works. So if I use speed grader, unfortunately this does require speed grader. Oh, there it is, sorry, speed grader. Here's my trick. I know that there are 10 questions. Well, there are now 11 based on the fact that I've added this fake one at the top. So I um, have searched for the phrase correct because when a student gets it correct you'll see that they have correct exclamation mark so if i search for correct exclamation mark you'll see that it notes that there are 10 cases of correct exclamation mark so that means this student got all six right so before this had nothing here i hit six here enter and then it automatically updates then i go to the next student this person was late so you can kind of see how it would look if I did this. I search for correct, and sometimes I have to search again. Um, maybe I have 17 questions in here. Um, you'll see that uh, he has one out of a bunch of ways that it says correct. So if he hadn't turned it in late, he would have gotten a passing grade. I would have typed in six here and then hit enter and then would have updated this person's grade. So then I go to the next person. And actually, I have it set up on my computer to where um, I've moved things around to where the search uh, menu is moved over so I don't even have to um, close it to get to the next screen. But with the video recording, I don't have it set up that way. So I hit enter again. This person has 16 cases of correct exclamation marks, so they have met the criteria. 
So what you can see is happening is I can quickly search and just see automatically whether they hit um, my criteria and therefore I'm not going down going one, two, three and counting. I just search really quick, see how many correct exclamation marks there were. And then if they got enough of them, I put the six points in here, hit enter and move on to the next student. Um, then when I go to the grade book, then they see scores of six or zero points. They don't see five, they don't see anything in between because I've assigned the six and I've assigned the zero. Again, it does take time to run through them, but you get pretty fast. Just search six, search zero, search six, search zero. That's kind of how it ends up going. Um, it's the best way I've found so far because Canvas is a little bit of a stickler that if you make this one one point out of one point, no matter whether you want to make it out of zero points later, it still screws up the count and how it, uh, it applies towards the total grade. So it's not worth making these simple questions worth any points. I like the idea of making one question six points and that gives me the control I need to make it a pass or no pass grade.